I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to take a look at how to get values from a subform or a parent form when we're trying to, you know, do some coding or something like that, and our code is running on the parent form or or say a lookup control is on the parent form, but we want some values from the subform, or we're running things on the subform, and we need to get values from the parent form. And this is a, something that trips up uh, developers all the time, and it's a great subject for today's video. So without further ado, let's get to our parent and subform lookups. Need help or coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off here and uh, we're using an access file that we used in some of our previous episodes. And uh, as you can see, I have these order tables. There was, a, you know, some orders uh, by division and order ID and we had some products that were on the orders and some order items. And, and, uh, and so we had these tables and uh, what, what we did was uh, we created this order form and it had two subforms on it uh, one for the items and one for products and we were demonstrating how to do subforms and we also put those onto tabs so you can see on the first tab here we had some order items on the second tab was a, a product lookup and uh, and and on the third tab we just put one of the fields from the main record set which is actually up above there with John Smith and so we demonstrated how to do that and so we have a subform here uh, with this uh, first row that you can see there is monster puppet and if I go to uh, design uh, mode here you can see if I click on inside of that tab and I, I click on the subform container there you see it's called orders item subform and it's got the orders item subform in it and uh, as you can see it's linked using some fields so that that subform only shows related data uh, data that's related to the parent uh, record there and what we're going to do is we're going to look at this I guess we'll take this uh, order item uh, field here and what we'll do is we're going to make an event that you know fires when we double click on it so that we can just demonstrate how to get some values from this form but also from the parent form so click the ellipsis click the code builder and then we'll get our subroutine started and so first of all uh, we'll we'll create a couple of variables here I'll, or I'll just call this one uh, uh, return value I suppose with the variant and I'll just say uh, the return value is equal to uh, me and the order item. Now note that this code is running in the subform. It's the code behind for the subform. And so when it executes, you can say, or you can use me, uh, and you can just say me um, exclamation order item. And that's going to do a reference, so it's going to look that up. And so uh, and then we'll sort of output a message box and we'll say, this is the item. This is the simplest lookup that we can do. So now if I go and I run this form, um, now I can double click in this field and uh, you can see this is the item monster puppet. I can go OK or if I was on another field, it'll, you know, uh, it'll pick up that value as well. And so um, now what I can do is I can go back to our procedure. So you can see it's got the event procedure in there already. You just click click the ellipsis and it, it will open up um, your code again and now we can add some other fields so you can see on our parent form we have the first name and last name fields and so we can get those values from the you know perspective of the code running in our subform we can go and get those and what we'll do is I'll just create a couple of variables here. I'll call it, uh, you know, uh, first and last, and uh, and make a note that you know when if you don't specify a data type here or a variable type, um, uh, the default is variant. Um, so that means that it can accept null values as well. 
Um, so what we'll do here is I'll say the last, you know, I'll call it, uh, uh, we'll go to me.parent.form. So what that's going to do is from the uh, perspective of the subform that's running, it says me.parent, and then we'll say uh, dot .form and then exclamation, then the field that we want to get the value from. And we can do the same thing for the first name. We'll go me.parent.form, uh, exclamation, first name, and that's going to give us the first name uh, from the field that's in there, uh, that's on the parent form. And so if I change our concatenated string uh, that we're using for our message box, um, then I can uh, change it to include the first name and the last name. So now it'll say this is the item, uh, whatever for, you know, the two fields on the uh, the name in the two fields up top. So now if I go back and I run it, you can see, see that it says this is the puppet for John Smith. Uh, this is the item roller skates for John Smith, etc., etc. Um, you can click on a whole bunch of them and you can see um, how, how it goes and, and it's contextual, right? So uh, how the code is running uh, in that moment, uh, it's a subform on whatever the parent form is. Because you could have a subform that's on 10 different forms, uh, but it's the same subform, so it will work um, even if you're using it on a different form, as long as that form has the field's first name and last name. Um, so uh, you can also change the, the uh, way that you type it there. I, I put it in, in uh, parentheses, so you can see that that also works. Um, that's also a way that you can look up the, the values. Um, you can you can specify the field name without using the exclamation and uh, and we that's a very handy way of doing it and and also um, this is handy you can also go and you can look up a subform within a subform as well using a similar uh, style and so what if I was on the parent form though and I'm running some code on the parent form and I want to get some values from the subform. Uh, well, that also um, that is very uh, similar to the way that we do the subform lookup. And uh, we can do that. So I'll grab a field. I grab order ID, the same thing, uh, double click event, um, use the ellipsis to open the code builder. And uh, I'll create another one. I'll call it var order this time. I'll grab the order ID. And I guess I'll grab just the first name and maybe the and the first item. So the first order, you know, give give me the the name and the first item in the order, uh, or something like that, just to demonstrate um, how to get the value. So now what I can do is I can say, well, my order is equal to uh, me uh, order ID. I'll just check that field is correct there uh, in a sec here. And the first name is uh, me, and uh, uh, that'll be me uh, and first name. And uh, also, uh, we will get the first item that is in the subform, uh, just for this per this particular example. So what we'll say here is we'll say me, and then exclamation, and then we're gonna put the order uh, item subform into as the uh, as the con the control name so what we'll do is we'll go and look I want to click on it and oh, okay I it looks like I need an S in order items subform so we'll we'll put that in there order items subform and then in the same way that we did before uh, we can use the dot form so because the control is a form uh, uh, then we can say uh, dot form and grab the field name that we want, which is order item, and uh, and that will give us the value that's in the first line there because the the subform will open and the first selected ro uh, record uh, will be uh, will have a value in it, and so um, in this particular case we're just grabbing the first one. And so we can create our message box again with uh, the first uh, the first name and the item. So we can say, you know, Mary is getting 
uh, you know, this item, and then we'll put the order, uh, the, like the order ID on it as well. And that will sort of round out the example. So we'll say, you know, uh, Mary is getting uh, whatever the item is, and then the order item, uh, the order ID in brackets. And uh, we'll just say that that's our example. And so now we can do that lookup. Uh, this code is running in the parent form now. And by uh, the context, it says, you know, go into my sub item subform and get that value uh, off of the subform. And so we can do that. Uh, and so now if I double click here, you can see that John is getting a monster puppet on his order. Uh, because we grab that first row and you can see it's selected so whatever the value that is selected if you look at the little arrow on the on the left of the subform record uh, but if we scroll through the record set now this is a different order if we double click on it you know Alice is getting Alice in Wonderland on on you know their order and uh, I guess I should change the wording for that um, so yeah, you can see that um, that now we can we can run code on the parent form and reference the subform, and we can run code on the subform and reference the parent form and get values uh, for various purposes. And just as I mentioned before, there's uh, several ways that you can uh, get the value. So we could um, look at this value. We could use the exclamation point uh, to to reference it more like a uh, an, an expression and I should also note that you can use um, a lot of this in uh, forms in form controls as well so you can actually put in a text control you can say equals you know something from the subform without any code at all um, uh, but as you can see if I double click here um, it's running the code just fine using that exclamation point and uh, that is how you can do uh, subform and parent form lookups uh, in Microsoft Access. Hope you enjoyed today's video on how to do uh, parent and subform lookups. If you like what you saw, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell when you see the bell, and put any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.